What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. Today, I'm here to show you guys the official Android 11 update on the OnePlus 7 Pro. It's finally here. I'm super excited. It's been too long. I've been using this on and off uh, ever since I did get you know, uh, the OnePlus 8T and the Galaxy S21. This was my main daily driver and by far my favorite device ever uh, since its release in May of 2019. And I, I just love this device. I love it how it has that full display. Yes, it's 90 Hertz, not 120. Does it have the latest and greatest Snapdragon 888 chipset whatnot? But this phone is a beast even in 2021 and with the Android 11 update. Now, Let's get right into the video and show you what's new in Android 11, Oxygen OS 11 on the OnePlus 7 Pro. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go to settings and you're gonna notice how the user interface, that is the most important thing, how the user interface is what's new in Oxygen OS 11 and the OnePlus 7 Pro. And honestly, if you ask me, it does fit in pretty well with the OnePlus 7 Pro. Even if you look at the icons right up here on the notification tray, and when you bring down the notification bar, everything, the user interface of everything has changed. It is now rocking that more kind of, I guess a lot of people have it comparing the new Oxygen OS to One UI, but I don't really agree with that 100%. It is, it is a different feel to it, but nonetheless, it's something that I really do appreciate. And the main thing you can tell the user interface is from the settings app. Okay, so when we take a look at this device, it's still running snappy, super snappy with the Snapdragon 855, and my model has 12 gigabytes of RAM, which back in 2019 was a huge thing. Now it's just pretty much the norm. But when we go to settings, uh, we are able to go to what well, we have dark mode now. And dark mode, so we're gonna go to pretty much right here. It's on manual, we can turn on automatically, we can do a custom range, and then we can manage apps in dark mode. We can turn off manual, and right now it's on its normal kind of normal settings. Let's turn that back up a little bit. There we go. So when we look at settings right now, it is it's its normal interface. Let's go back and let's Turn that back on. Then we also do have ambient display. So we don't have always on display. We do have ambient display. So tap the screen to show. I am going to, there we go. We're gonna pick up and it shows the time and I can double tap, unlock my phone just like that, but it does not. The OnePlus 7 Pro does not have always on display like something like the new oneplus 9 pro in the last year oneplus 8 pro with oxygen uh, os 11 update on that as well as the oneplus 8t this does not have always on display it has ambient display but it doesn't have always on display so do keep that in mind now i will list the entire change log down in the description below but one of the other main things is going to be the camera ui has been updated so there we go. And what has been added, if we go to settings, is we have high efficiency video in HVEC uh, format. So we are able to record in that new format as well. So that is something that has been added to Oxygen OS 11. Overall, the UI, the user interface on Oxygen OS 11 on the OnePlus 7 Pro is pretty good. Um, so let's take a quick picture. Quick share, got it. No, thank you. Let's try this. There we go. And I, what I love so much about this is 
the pop-up camera, the fact that this has a full display. This has a full display and they kind of went backwards with the OnePlus 8 Pro last year and the OnePlus 9 Pro, it does have a whole bunch of display. That is obviously to show uh, it's a water resistance to have the IP68 uh, water uh, and dust resistance certification. Uh, this does have a kind of water and dust resistance certification. It's not IP rated, that's okay. But anyway, let's get back into this One UI uh, kind of update and what's new on the OnePlus 7 Pro. Another main thing is if we go to home settings and we click on shelf, shelf has a new interface. Uh, the interface seems to be much clearer. They've added the weather widget um, and the animation effect is much smarter, but um, here is sh shelf for you on the one plus seven pro and oxygen os 11 i personally never used it uh probably won't use it uh, from this point forward uh, i don't use uh, i guess they have a instead of shelf they're using google uh on the samsung galaxy s21 series i don't use any of that i just like having my home screen like this but for those who use a uh, shelf on their OnePlus devices you're getting a new interface uh, on shelf as well so i you know do appreciate that as well so pretty much everything that you've seen from the OnePlus 8T and Oxygen OS 11 to the new OnePlus 9 series, and if you have OnePlus 8 or 8 Pro, Oxygen OS 11 has carried on to the OnePlus 7, 7 Pro, 7T, and 7T Pro. The new user interface um, from the icons that is really annoying me, so I am actually going to go and change that. So we're going to go to customization, and we're going to go to font. And I'm going to choose Roboto, never settled. There we go. And that is the icon, or at least uh, the font that I'm going to use for the time being. But it's entire new user interface that is listed throughout the entire phone, uh, whichever apps you do use. So if I do go on YouTube, or if we go on Google News, still snappy the new update doesn't really affect it obviously my wi-fi is particularly slow uh, but other than that the phone itself is super super snappy go to medium super snappy go to calendar google keep there we go i mean it's still super snappy don't expect okay a new update it's going to lag my device is going to slow down my device. That's a big question a lot of people get. Oh, is this update going to slow down my device? No, it's not. I've been using this um, for nearly a day now intensively and it hasn't slowed down at all. And the great thing is my model has 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, Snapdragon 855. Yes, it's not the most up-to-date chipset. That's okay. Now, another thing that a lot of people will ask all right, well, what if I side download? Is that going to affect my phone? Yes and no. Yes, because no, you're not 100% sure if the update is really stable. Is the camera, for example, going to be stable or anything else in the update going to be stable? That's why, uh, firstly, would recommend getting a system over the air update. Now, if you're really, if you're, you know, really excited and you can't wait to get one like me, then I would say, you know, get a local upgrade, kind of download the ZIP file um, through online, find the um, update, for example, on XD developers and download from there. But you can't really guarantee it's 100% stable. And if you do, don't take, you know, don't, I'm not recommending anyone to download the updates um, that is at their own, uh, if they want to do it on their own, just make sure you perform a backup on your device before you do um, side download the update. Uh, whether it be on your 7, 7 Pro or any Android device in general, always be sure to perform a backup because you never know what may happen. But overall, you know, it's a more so user interface change. 
Android 11 has been out for almost a year. I mean, by the time we get to September, October, it's going to be a year since Android 11 has come out. Android 12 is already quickly coming out with its beta previews and whatnot. So, I mean, OnePlus is really late to the game with the 7 Pro. They used to do super well on Android updates. I remember Android 10. I got this uh, update to Android 10 on the 7 Pro within, you know, the first, like, 30 days it came out on the pixels so oneplus was super quick with android 10 i don't know what happened with android 11 but that's pretty much been it um the entire change log will be listed in the description down below and i will leave the links to the updates the local updates the upgrades uh, if you do want to side download oneplus 7 pro or 7 uh, Oxygen OS 11, Android 11 on your device. I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope I was able to answer a couple of your questions. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like on the video. Be sure to comment down below your comments, suggestions, opinions, whatever it is. And be sure to, you know, give the bell uh, notifications a thumb, you know, turn on that bell notification as it does help out the YouTube algorithm a lot and will help push my video out to more viewers. And we have recently passed 7,000 subscribers and my goal for the channel for 2021 is 10,000. We are almost there. We started with 5,500 around there at the beginning of the year and three months in we're already past 7,000. I can't thank you guys enough so much. I have a bunch of great things planned out for the channel, but that's pretty much been it for today's episode. I will see you guys later in the next episode. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to superman that like button, comment down below, because with the more interactions we get on this video, not only helps the video and the channel, but also pushes the video out to more viewers. And best of all, superman that subscribe button. Until next time, everybody, and until next video, this is MTG.